And our favourite movie shakers come from the Netherlands, where Dutch scientists have used brain scans to answer the question of how to tell if a woman is faking an orgasm. And the answer is simple. If she's thinking, she's faking. <laughs> The study found that the key to female arousal is absence of thought, which is why Paris Hilton always has wet socks. <laughs> but when women fake it, areas of the brain that shut down during real orgasm remain active, indicating their thinking. Unfortunately for men, it takes a sophisticated brain scanner to tell the difference. <laughs> Besides, we don't really care. <laughs> The scientists found the male brain harder to study because of the orgasm shorter duration. In fact, many of the male volunteers had finished before the scientists could even get the scanner on. <laughs> Pinky, you're a pleasure machine. Ever faked it? I worry that it's the Dutch who figured this out. Uh, any Dutchmen who've come anywhere near a woman's orgasm have been watching television or something or watching a movie. They haven't certainly been involved firsthand. Um, and in answer to your question, yes, I faked it. I faked it heaps of times. Um, Could you give us a little demo of, like, you, like, you know, just a little bit of, you know, Meg Ryan style? No. <laughs> Absolutely not, because, like, I don't want to give away trade secrets. <laughs> Have you ever faked it, Chris? Don't ask questions of course like he that. Has, yeah. Why? That's what the story's about. You have. Have you? Well, I think me. all women have. <laughs> no, obviously, but no, with I, you, I, I think most I, women have. There's that, a don't fairly they? good chance if I did sleep with you, Dave, I would fake it. <laughs> I'm going to choose whether to be offended by that. <laughs> have you faked it, Dave? Uh, I have, yeah. <laughs> I just go, oh, that's it, baby. <laughs> Let's just sleep now. But I mean, it's the thing is, I tell you what, if, what you shouldn't, as a guy, if a girl says it's okay that I didn't get there, they're lying. Because <laughs> it's really not okay. And it needs to be a team effort, I believe. We both need to be on the same page. So we can both get there. Oh, that's nice. Rosie, what about you, Ellen? Oh, it's a, it's a crazy world, isn't it? Um, <laughs> 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 they're always doing studies on this sort of thing, which I find just mm, bizarre. Um, but uh, maybe have exaggerated a little bit. <laughs> so you haven't faked, you've just exaggerated yeah. a little bit. Well, yeah. So you've had a mini iPod, have you? <laughs> Sometimes it's like flying a plane. It's like, you know, you've got to pull this lever here and step on that thing and then you've got to get round and you've got to talk to control and get coordinates right. It's like, God damn, you know. And I've just realised what my worst nightmare would be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Captain Pinky Beacroft. <laughs> Well, a lot of the time it's about getting you, in, like, in the right frame of mind for a woman, isn't it, Rosie? Yeah. What, 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 yeah. what, what do you need to get in the right frame of mind? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, to hear that is very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, what, what, if somebody was going to woo Rosie Beaton, what, what would they need to do? They need to take you out for food or uh, something? I do like a good Chinese meal. Oh, yeah, yeah right. I like the the curried king prawns and rice, mm -hmm. and I finish it off with the fried ice cream. Is this curry? What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like some sexual Tai Chi move. <laughs> now get in the position of the deep fried ice cream. <laughs> you a morning or a night person, Rosie? Where do you sit on that sort Anytime. of... Anytime. 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 Well, you're way Anytime. up for it, aren't you, really? <laughs>